don't have my mic today, so it might be a bit windy in the background, but today we're DNA testing the rams. Got Mark and Tucker here, and we'll just show you how we do that. I put the camera a bit low, but we're um, on a little tripod thing. So basically I've got two pockets here. I've got my scanner. Tucker's got the EID, which is connected to this via Bluetooth, the scanner. And then I've got all the empty DNAs in one pocket. Full TSU units, sorry, I should say, in the other pocket. Uh, and then we transfer and move around pretty quick. So we'll show you how we do it. Well, probably not for the video now. So, right. So Tucker scans it. Just do it again just to show you. Then I scan this. Don, Mark has it. I then get the next one ready while Mark does that. Tucker's checking that the EID always connects to the, the right lamb. He's in charge of that. Mark will then do that. I'll then scan the next one on. We swap the undone one for the done one, put it in my pocket. Let's see if we can do a clean run, shall we? So there we go, that's one little pen full. How many was that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's not actually a very long process. It's just a bit expensive at the moment. So we're sort of the jury's out whether we keep doing it. We just need to do it this year because we multiple sired for the first time. I'm not sure we're gonna do that either again. We're gonna go back to a uh, single siring. It's got a bit more control. End up with like a bag full of, uh, full of tissue samples. And then we've got, as I said on the reader, We've got every um, EID we scanned with the correlating TSU number. And we send that spreadsheet and all off to New Zealand. So I believe the samples will keep uh, for quite a while in the fridge. So we will put them in the fridge for now because we've still got to sample all our ewe lambs that we're going to use this year. So they'll go in there. And then um, once we've done the ewe lambs, we'll send them all off to Genome NZ in New Zealand to get them the parentage tested. I think they also give you gene markers, which is really good as well.